How well can Johnny Lightning trailers hook up to different brands? Let's see. It's RT Spacer with you. I got a great question that gave me an idea. Why not test the Johnny Lightning trailers on the Greenlight Ram? In addition, I'm going to expand this to include the Hot Wheels Ram and all four Matchbox trucks I tested on a Greenlight trailer. The reason being, each of these hitches are different. Different heights, different sizes. Now I know what you're thinking, none of these should work well since none of these are Johnny Lightning trucks. But there's only one way to find out. Let's roll. So I'll start with the Greenlight Ram, still with the original hitch made by Greenlight, only lowered. The red flatbed works pretty well. That's good and level. So now for the enclosed trailer. That'll work well too, only it's not level. Since I care about that sort of thing, I'll probably be making an adjustment somewhere. Looks like I'll be sticking with the custom Maisto after this test. So now onto the Hot Wheels Ram. Let's start with the red flatbed. Now that too is good and level. Let's try the enclosed trailer. That is still not level, but closer to level than the green light ram was. So now for the matchbox trucks. I'm really interested to see how these will do, starting with the Matchbox Raptor. The red flatbed's looking good. So now for the enclosed trailer. None of these have had a problem connecting so far, it's just a matter of being level, really. So now for the Nissan Junior. Let's we'll start with the enclosed trailer first this time. It's not level and I'm willing to bet that's not going to stay attached. No, oh, it stays attached but it's just barely hanging on there. So now for the flatbed. pretty much the same deal. In this case, it's barely staying attached at all. Rolling this runs the risk of coming unattached at any time. I'll now bring in the Jeep Wrangler. Start with the flatbed first. That's hooking up with no problem. Ready to haul something. Now for the enclosed trailer. Pretty much the same thing. Works out better than I thought it would. And finally the Chevy step side. The flatbed first. On this one the front end of the trailer sits a little too low. The rear axle might stop rolling altogether. It connects just fine. Now the majority of these could wind up detached since it's not like a secure connection. With older Matchbox trailers, they're set up to stay attached once on. Now it's worth mentioning that I adjusted this flatbed so that it would sit level on pretty much any truck I attach it to. This happened shortly after I first got it in June 2018. I have not touched this enclosed car trailer, but it's worth noting that I could detach this and make it into a second flatbed just after unscrewing it. So this has been a look at how well Johnny Lightning trailers hook up to a wide variety of trucks, different brands. Hopefully you find this helpful. For now I gotta run. 
RT Spacer with you. Let's haul something.